Hello, good afternoon. I'd like to acknowledge the following people today. From Alfonso Yuchenko Foundation, we have uh, Ms. Michelle B. <laughs> Ms. Yvonne Yuchenko. And we have uh, Mr. Ramon Vizmonde. <laughs> Dr. Reynaldo Villa is also with us tonight. And attorney Samuel Torres. He's on the way. Okay, we're, we're acknowledging him anyway. <laughs> and our, uh, we also have Miss Pearly LeBaron Cruz. <laughs> as well as Mr. Brian James Sudarya. That's from uh, Quasi Tech Foundation. And of course, we have the following individuals. We have our ambassador, national president, and past president, JCI Manila, and Pidolman Bagat Singh. Prime Minister, Cesar Pirata. President of JCI Manila, Press Canel Bo Singtian. We have the area vice president of JCI for um, Area Vice President for Area 2. We have AVP Patrick Magina with us. <laughs> JCI Manila Board of Directors, members, friends from the press, the media, and oh, we have Senator Javi Sajita with us. Thank you for being here. That's it. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Thank you, SG Mike. Okay, so now we invite you to look back at last year's STCA or St. Teresa of Calcutta Awards by watching this video. So to enlighten us for this year STCA, let us welcome the this year project chairman, Chairman Bjorn Dizon. <laughs> To the Chenko family and the AY Board of Trustees, Ambassador Ramon Bagatsi Jr., 2024 JCI Manila President Miguel Losintian and the JCI Manila Board, JCI Manila Senators, and my JCI Manila Brothers, to all guests and friends from the media, a blessed, happy Easter. Love cannot remain by itself. It has no meaning. Love has to be put into action, and that action is service. St. Teresa of Calcutta said these words. Her life was a testament of love put into action, and that action is service. A life dedicated to the service of not just the poor, but the last, the lost, and the least. She was the saint of the doctors. When was the last time we cared for the unwanted? For St. Teresa, it was every day until her last breath. Her life's work inspired a movement around the world. And for AY Foundation and JCI Manila, she continues to motivate us for 41 years in the search of a Filipino embodying her example. The St. Teresa of Calcutta Award this year goes with the theme of elevating lives through selfless service. For we are driven by the mission started by St. Teresa, elevating the lives of those from the gutters, those whose society has forgotten. We elevate the search this year by pushing the limit of ensuring we gather nominees from all over the Philippines. And the criteria remains, an individual who has dedicated fully into a life of humanitarian work for the poor, the orphans, the dying, the oppressed, the aged and less privileged Filipinos for at least 25 years. Nominations may be submitted through an application link found in our Facebook page, facebook.com slash stcaward, 
or you can also email us at our app official.stca at gmail.com. Nominations will be accepted until the 30th day of July this year. We sincerely thank the AY Foundation, led by Mrs. Helen Chengkuti, for their continued trust and support and partnership with JCI Manila. Thank you so much. We commit to a meaningful search to deliver you the most deserving nominees and to facilitate a memorable awarding ceremony in October. Is it not already meaningful that we kick off this year's search for the St. Teresa of Calcutta Award just two days after Easter? We believe that St. Teresa was inspired by the life of the recent Christ, who cared for the poor, healed the sick, and showed us all how it is to be human with compassion and dignity. In JCI, as you have heard a while ago, we always say, service to humanity is the best work of life. And so our work begins. St. Teresa's mission lives on. And the search and nominations for St. Teresa of Calcutta Award begins. Thank you all, and may St. Teresa and the Christ guide us. Thank you, uh, Chairman Vion Dizon. So to start, or to start for the memorandum of agreement uh, signing, so I just want to give you a least brief summary for the memorandum of agreement. So this memorandum of agreement made and agreed between AY Foundation and JCI Manila. So we've been doing this for the past 41 years already. An agreement to launch and successfully conclude the STCA this 2024. Both parties agree that the search for the serving nominees for the STCA should give priority to the outstanding lay persons who serve 25 years to the poorest of the poor. So for today's signing of Memorandum of Agreement, we now invite Ms. Yvonne Yuchenko and Dr. Reynaldo Vea from AY Foundation, together with JCM Manila President, President Kalel Cosentian, Chairman Vion Dizon, for the signing of MOA between AY Foundation and JCI Manila. Friends, we invite you, and of course media, to capture this significant moment.
ಹೊತ್ತಿಗೆ ಸಾರ್ವಜನಿಕರ್ಶಿಪ್ with Alfonso Yuchenko Foundation and of course with Mama Helen as well. It's it's always a pleasure to work with the uh, Ewa Foundation the group. Um every year you host us in either the Rizio or the Penn uh, House uh in Hexagon Lounge and we're always so thankful for all the support that you give us. Um and of course for our our winners of of winners of SDC uh, with their own personal advocacy. So let's get to the Ewa Foundation with their other stuff. And with that, I'd like to see all of you on October 4th during the awarding ceremony. Uh, details to follow. And hopefully we find a very fitting winner for the 41st SDC. So may God bless us all. Thank you. Good afternoon. Thank you, Press Kalel. Thank you everyone and again congratulations to AY Foundation and JC Emanela. Well actually let the search begins. See you on October like Prescal and Menchon for the awarding ceremony. So we invite everyone for some refreshments and social gathering. Again thank you everyone and good afternoon.